come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're glad that you're back with us or joining us for the first time. Thank you very much. And by the way, why don't you head on over and uh, wherever you found us, give us a like, give us a star rating, give us a review, because all of that stuff helps us get found by other like-minded folks like you. Let's grow the audience. Let's take over the world. Saturday world night domination. Freak show style. Universe domination. Let's do it. And if that's we can right. do it after last week's episode, then <laughs> we're yeah, sorry. That's, yeah. a, that's something we're else. We're sorry for last week's <laughs> episode. Is it really your fault, though? No, this, no, nobody again, picked that can, movie can, but can, the listeners. This whole month. Nobody to blame but the listeners. That's true. But I still feel bad. I think that we let people down because we were totally unprepared. We just took the movie as is and tried to talk actually, about it. Yeah. And it was like, it was, I actually what? thought about that on the way here. I mean, obviously, we're not into it yet, but. I didn't look up anything about Super Mario Brothers. I, looked, I've, I've, I've got I like a couple things. I was like, I was like, I hope Mario. you guys have info because yeah, no. I don't have <laughs> a couple of things. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. What Tom were you Hanks, saying? we got you. Well, yeah. this oh, was, I did see uh, that. I did see that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I suppose we should introduce ourselves. Sorry. This is the starting lineup of the Internet Radio Superstars. Michaela. Holly. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Hold you. On <laughs> uh, it's your one, fault. Oh, that's right. So you. we were doing, uh, in the month of December, we were uh, soliciting viewer choices. You could <laughs> suggest movies that we'd watch. Then we had everybody vote on them. You guys voted. The one, the top four that got the most votes is what we're doing. Last week we did Detention from 2011, and this week that we're was doing four. Did we say what we're doing? Three. This is number three. This is chosen by Finding Cullen Milligan. So thank you very much for uh, submitting. Did you find him? Chosen by him. Yeah. Voted on by many. By yeah. many. <laughs> or uh, him gaming the system. We'll maybe. never know. I, I, Either way, you know, I, if someone wants to put that much effort into it, but, that's awesome. I, we'll, we'll I get, may we'll, have voted for this. <laughs> <laughs> I may have gone into our own thing. And I'm pretty like, sure oh, you so did. I'm pretty sure we were sitting yeah, around the table we and I yelled at you for because I was like, I don't want to watch that. Yeah, I think you did. And voted for but it. I mean, uh, really though, we'll get to we'll get to um, comments and questions later. But I think we got a lot of feedback about it, so I think we legitimately did have a lot of people vote for this. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Uh, so what do we what do we watch, Sean? What is tonight's movie? Tonight's movie is Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. Mario from the year 1993, and directed by. A dude. No, no two, a two, dude people. Two, two people. Two dudes. Uh, yeah. Rocky wife. Morton and Annabelle Jenkel. Who are they? Yeah. Uh, they created Max Headroom. What is that? It was a weird TV a weird show. Weird TV show and, uh, you know, a weird uh, viral phenomenon, as it were. That's what I'm more interested in. Like, yeah. the viral phenomenon. Guys, go look it up which, if you have uh, not seen it. nothing to do with. What is it? It makes me uncomfortable to watch. I can't watch it. Have you the break-in? Seen... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's weird. What, what is it? In, what, was it in the ni- early 90s that I, it happened? It um, late, yeah, 90s. Late 80s. You're the, talking the show? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, no. The break-in. The, the, the... the signal that was hijacked. Yeah. With there was a guy wearing a Max Headroom mask that yes. hijacked a TV signal in the Chicago land area. Yeah, right. Chicago, okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. this. Yeah. I remember um, this. Yeah. And said a bunch of weird shit and like had like a dildo in his hand this and like twice. I believe it, it's just and then like it's really and they never bizarre, were able yeah. to trace who did it and right. f- or why they did it. And somebody broke into one a, of those a, a, a Chicago signal and yeah. Broadcast wow. on that. And it's room. really, I can't watch it. It's creepy to watch. It just makes me <laughs> uncomfortable. It, it, it is skin is. crawl. It is creepy. Yeah, yeah. I watched it. It's f- fucking bizarre. Yeah, he's it just is. saying a bunch of random yeah. weird stuff and like throwing a dildo around yeah. and but it was wearing a, a Max Headroom mask. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like a straight up lunatic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, there was a Max Headroom. I remember there was a, I think, so they the created the, the UK TV show and then the American remake. I think they both had Matt Frewer in, or a Canadian actor it was so. Max Headroom in both of yeah. them. I don't know anything I about the so. show. Yeah, it's like set in the future. It. It's kind of a dystopian thing. I know the look of the dude, and that's all I know of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah same. No, I, I know remember nothing watching about the, the weekly. Of yeah. that show. no, I he was no like idea. a reporter or something in the future. Yeah, like TV like would that, never turn yeah. off. There were these blip verts, which were advertisements that were condensed so fast that when you watch them, your head would explode. Yep. And he was trying to expose it. It might have been. Yeah, that sounds pilot like episode. sounds like you're right up your alley, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And somehow he becomes Max Headroom, and so like he's still the reporter, but there's also like this. TV version of it. It's strange. Yeah. Uh, strange. They also did a uh, version of a movie. Uh, it's called DOA. Anybody seen this with Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan? Is uh, yes. 
Yeah. I, yeah, I he's do. He's poisoned and then he has to basically solve his own murder before uh, he dies. Yep. It's based on a oh, 40s Jesus. movie that's pretty good. I remember. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all they did. Is and then like Super a, Mario. Is that like but... a real time movie? Does it happen in real time? No. I mean, no. Why not? Not like Nick of Time. Is that what you think? Nick of Wasn't Time? There another oh, DOA? Nick of 80, Time. Well, what? Oh, the, D, the, the other the, one the is beach dead, dead or Alive. Dead or Alive. Yeah, 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 yeah based thing? on the yeah. video yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that happened. So we're tying it all around based on a video game. <laughs> oh, it's all video games. Uh, much like tonight's movie. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make a un, not very shocking oh. admission here. I have never played a single Super Mario video game. Really? Are you fucking kidding? What? Not even like the original, like NES original no? Super Mario. Seriously? Super Mario 3? How is this possible? I'm shaking my head here Why? to the one. They're looking it's, at me. How Jaws did Mario miss you? It was Liter- like the most popular game like ever. of all time. Yeah. Literally the only gaming system I've ever owned and I still own it is an NES and I have the three Marios. See, like somehow, That's the only yeah. thing. Like, I ended up with all the video gaming systems that weren't the popular one. So, like you I, had like yeah. a, so you had like a Dreamcast? I had a Dreamcast. No, I had a Sega Genesis. It's you a, had a Sega yeah. CD is what you I had. I had a Sega CD. You never yeah. played the Mario Kart? Mario. No. What, what the fuck, Colin? No, it, I went from the Commodore 64 to... Uh, oh, then That's there was the ColecoVision. All of them. From start Commodore 64, to Yeah, then ColecoVision. And then I think somewhere <laughs> after that... Did you have Atari? No. No, see, I had ColecoVision. Yeah, that's all my God. Atari's too mainstream for it. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had all the. You are a ones. fucking Jesus. enigma, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> PlayStation was out. I had the 3DO. It's fucking weird. Oh my weird. God. Yeah, that's but now weird. I'm 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 hip now, right? No, I've got no, the PlayStation no, because 4. Because you said that, you're not. <laughs> you are eliminated. Well, I am an avid gamer now, though. But I mean, I've never <laughs> right. gone back and the 2D scroll, you know, side-scrolling platformers were never really my thing. Wow. I know. Everybody's looking at me like I'm from another planet. Because like I know so many people that like have literally the Everybody. only the only video game they've ever played is Super Mario Brothers. They tried that and that was it. Like like I'm yeah. up there. I've I yeah. have not played a lot of games in my life, but, but I beat Mario. all three of those. Like I played those all the time. <laughs> Did you play Contra? I played Contra. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Thank well, God. thank God yeah, for that. They had that for the, <laughs> I think Commodore 64 had a version of Contra. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, all right. Yeah. My God. Paul Harry, I think well, it was a side yeah. scrolling. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Unbelievable. Wow. So, no, 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 we're all no, floored no, by no, this no, information. Hour and a half dissecting Colin. Well, but that puts, lack of okay. So, but but going into this discussion, I want to know. We will let you know where my headspace was when I'm watching a movie called Super Mario Brothers, room? which is basically my first exposure to the plot, the world, the characters. Well, that's of Super Mario. Very unfortunate. Wow. Well, no, no. I played fucking Donkey Kong, so I know who Mario is. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I played right. Donkey Kong, so I know who Mario is. <laughs> that's wow. where he comes. From wow. the tertiary right? character in that wow. BS. Uh, yeah. What are you talking? Isn't he the main dude? He's the main. He's trying to rescue the girl the from the ca- fucking. That's not the character. The Kong. Yeah, yeah, it's not about it's him. Not, that's not. It's about Donkey Kong. Yeah. Yeah, but you are him. Okay, so right. No, you're a plumber. You're the plumber, as or whatever they call. Yeah, they him gave him. They yeah. retro well, he's got a name, yeah. actively named him Mario. Is that he, true? Yeah, he wasn't Mario in that game. No, he was like the oh, I forgot what his name is. He's he's labeled something else in the, Just the plumber, game. the plumber, the the dude, or whatever it is. He's not Mario until like Mario. All right, well then let's test a little bit of your uh, oh, Mario trivia knowledge. Uh, when wait, don't wait. give me years. I'm not going to give you. No, years. yeah, That's not going to happen. Have you ever gonna... played or heard of a game called Mario Brothers? Not Super Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers. No. Is that just that one level? Jump I looked to check. It actually did game? exist. It was like 1985 in Japan. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's so <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is not an American game. Console? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, yeah, because I think when okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. When the NES came out, it came with Super Mario Brothers and. Duck, Duck Hunt, Hunt. That was yeah. The console, yeah. Those yeah. So is Mario Brothers just the is it the one level where you're jumping? I out? have no idea. I, I just looked. I, up I might the know yeah. what Mario Brothers is. <laughs> like I think it's included on some other game things. It's just one level where you jump from level to level, th- and then I think later turtles come out. There's I, a power up that you jump on. I think later on it came out as like a bonus. I think so. Uh, I yeah, think I know the game you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, I think so. Right. so they had it's a very boring game. There are no Mario there are no like well, that's worlds. Why Super there are no worlds to go to. You are in one world and jumping up on different little levels. It's kind of like Ice Climber. Okay, so we don't need to explain to the folks what Super Mario Brothers <laughs> no, is about because everybody no. knows except for they me. They know. Yeah. You don't. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, so is heathen. I mean, is the game an accurate representation? Of of the game, or is, is the movie a representation? No. It could no. not be farther no. from no. it. No, could not be I farther. Think there's no. uh, two things in this movie. And they I mean, are there's, well, there's Mario three, and Luigi. There's, there's, yeah, there's King Koopa. It's the character names are. There's Mario and Luigi. The fact that they are plumbers, and eventually they end up in red and green and uh, blue overalls. And, yeah, okay. blue. I don't know where that really. Yeah. they were blue. Yeah. yeah, but the overalls. There's um. There's uh. Bombs. Yeah, the bombs existed. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is uh, bullet bobs. Although I don't think you really you kind of see them in this. Mm-hmm. They load them into the boots, the thwompers in this movie, the thwomper mm-hmm. stoppers. Yeah, so they can jump through levels and everything. There uh, is a character named Toad. There's a character mm-hmm. named Toad. He looks nothing or acts no. nothing like from <laughs> Yoshi games. is like Yoshi's in this, and he's a dinosaur. Yoshi's probably Yoshi the is closest a dinosaur. one. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi. That's, that's as close as <laughs> yeah. he's gonna get. Yeah, Yoshi's but a dinosaur. Yeah. All right. Is there a Koopa? It. There's yeah, a Koopa, the King Koopa. But there's no relation looks wise or anything no. like that. Right. No, no. Right. He's a dinosaur. There are very few people in the Mario games but at all. Out, is there and, a Goomba? And it's yeah. not they don't look like it's that. It's not Princess Daisy. Is there a Princess Toadstool? Yes. Princess Toadstool. Okay, Princess Toadstool. I don't know. I I pulled that Princess, out of the ether. I don't Princess know. Daisy is isn't she a thing in part two? Isn't that who that character is in Mario Brothers two? The, I thought it was just Princess Toadstool and Princess Peach. There's Princess Peach. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's a Princess Daisy. I don't. I, don't I think. In, I think in two she's just the princess. Right. Because two is like the Japanese original Mario. Yeah. But made into part two. There's yeah. the secret levels, mm-hmm. which is technically Mario two. It's it gets complicated. There's a history. <laughs> <laughs> and Mario is there still going on because now is, there's what? Oh yeah. Mario Karts and. Mario mm-hmm. World, Super Mario and, Worlds, where Yoshi is more apparent in those. Yeah. yeah, Mario is basically the flagship Nintendo character. Yeah, pretty mm-hmm. much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You think Nintendo, yeah. you think Mario? That's mm-hmm. that's okay. that. Well, so this movie Luigi, has nothing. Not so much. Has, and the game is yeah, well, and the game is not disgusting. No, no. no. So I don't know why <laughs> that happens. Mushrooms and stuff, but there's no fungus. Yeah, the there's no. No, but there's mushrooms. Sure. There's, yeah, there's mushrooms. But yeah, but nothing is nothing is dripping or oozing. Yeah. yeah. What the hell was going on in the early '90s with the drugs? Visual- Colin, drugs. Apparently, you could get a movie greenlit on anything. Do you know how they I got gathered. this movie greenlit? No, I do not. Uh, <laughs> they went to Nintendo. Nintendo was like, "Yeah, go ahead. We don't give a shit." Uh-huh. Nintendo, yeah. Nintendo <laughs> was like, That's "We it. don't give a shit." Go well, ahead, do because it. Uh, I think one of the questions that because the guy who produced this, I think, is a guy named Roland Jaffe or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. Not the yep. director Roland Jaffe. No, this name? is Jaffe. Right? This is Jaffe. Yeah, he um, works for what is it, Light Wave or something Entertainment? What does it say there? Light. Uh, it's uh, Hollywood Pictures Light presents Motive. Light Motive was his company. Light Motive Light sounds Motive. fake. And he went to Japan and he met with the creators of. Uh, well, he met with Nintendo and basically yeah. pitched them like you know doing this movie and they said well why should we trust you over like a bigger company and he said well because you'd have more control over the yeah. the <laughs> outcome of the movie and but like, they didn't want the out- like, yeah, they had care. no interest in it really they were just like well the Americans go make this movie and it's an experiment we'll, right. see, what happens. we'll see what happens we've really got nothing to lose no <laughs> no it's not going to affect them at all which for the filmmakers they have to be like great yeah, we got a parent company who's just letting us license this material, and they're just like, "Yeah, do whatever you want," and they're just like, "Oh, perfect." But and they got boy, did funding. That. I mean, this is a movie that is not a cheap look. It's expensive. No. I, it's I looked up the or something. yeah, I looked up the box office, it's and I was like, I could not fucking believe it. It's it, fucking expensive. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Yeah, it's like fifty was, forty-eight million dollars. Jesus Christ! Yeah, so that's with the backing of Disney through their alias uh, Hollywood Pictures, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also Sinks brought us a record. Phobia yeah. back in the oh, day. Oh, bravo to that. Oh, yes. Well, that's yeah. really all they need to know. <laughs> that's, that's they, they, they did several others, but now they're, sure. you know, I don't watch them often, so I can't remember which ones they are. But uh, <laughs> so it's got it's got studio funding. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be a big deal. We're going to reach this is a, a Disney thinking or light, light wave or light motive. Light motive. Thinking we are going to take this uh, kids video game, the property. We're going to turn it into a big budget movie and it's going to become like the next Star Wars and everybody's because everybody loves the game. It's one of the biggest games like of all time. And so we're going to make this big ass movie. 
I can't even remember what, like, is this one of the first video game movies? What was Mortal yes. Kombat? Did we figure that out? Is that like 95? That was, yeah, that was, was later. This that is was one later. of the, definitely one of the first. Yes. Mortal Kombat, yeah, Mortal Kombat was like 96. What other video game movie? I mean, I'm sorry, audience, as we rack our brains here, but no. like, what I mean, other video game yeah. property would have been made into a movie? It's one of the first, yeah. if not the first. Like it, yeah, if, Mortal if Kombat was ninety five. The first yeah. major one, and no one's ever big. made like the Oregon Trail. <laughs> I that, actually, and I'd they, watch that movie. I'd go watch that movie for sure. Say, if somebody somewhere made. Like, is, you know what? I mean, and, I mean the Coen brothers make the Oregon Trail movie. I would go <laughs> fucking watch it. Yeah. Seriously, how has that not happened? This was like people our age being so fucking nostalgic for everything. How right. has that not been done? Well, and if you think about it, you could make that a serious art house movie. Mm-hmm. You really could. Yeah. You have, you have people fucking dying constantly. It could From be a, dysentery, it could be a, right? yeah. Cholera. You've died of dysentery. Yeah. Yeah. Cholera. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 Snake could be a, it could be an Oscar yeah. bait I movie. I, I never watched totally. Love in the Time of Cholera. Did that have anything to <laughs> yeah. do with uh, it? It's, it you know what? It is, it is shot for shot. <laughs> <or Yeah. trail. laughs> oh, how many people forded the river and died? Did All they break an axle? They bro- everyone broke an axle. Everyone broke everyone. an axle. <laughs> God damn it. I, you know what? Until you just said that, I had no idea that I wanted a Coen Brothers Oregon trail. I know, that's what I'm saying. They could do I it want really it. well. And right. you know what? Because they're the Coen Brothers, you get all these A-list people to sign on for you it, put too. put the right <laughs> people in charge Dude. of these properties. Yeah. Uh-huh. And yeah, you can I do, know anything. You can do anything. It's yeah. genius. Do anything. Uh, I know, I think we asked this before on probably the Mortal Kombat uh, episode. Yeah. What's the best video game adaptation? Probably Doom. since Mortal Kombat, other movies. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a joke. <laughs> best video game? Best video game to movie adaptation. I mean, Mortal Kombat's uh, pretty straight. I don't know. I mean, we talked about a lot of good. Yeah, we talked about that before because we talked about Tomb Raider. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's probably yeah. yeah. Yeah, but if you go back and watch those, like those aren't any good. No, I'm not, not good. A, I'm not a yeah. fan. No. I'm not a fan. I mean, I kind of like the later, like, the last one. But. I would think, like straight from video game to movie. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, yeah I that's think so. Pretty straight from the game. It's to yeah. a it's movie. pretty spot. Yeah. And you're just like, yeah, it was boring, but if you uh, like, you try and make that game into a movie, like they did it, they did it, <laughs> yeah, like pretty much it. Can't do much else. They yeah. had everything you would want in that movie if you were a fan of that game. Yeah. That's true. The Assassin's Creed movie is pretty bad. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, it's really bad. I would not watch that. I mean, the big budget one was um, like Prince of Persia, right? Yeah. Oh, that was like, really bad. Oh, right, right, right. I don't care for that. I've one. Totally. For, I completely erased the part of my brain that saw well, that movie. That I completely forgot. Because that was celebrated as like we're taking video games, we're going to do like a serious, mm-hmm. you know, like big budget video game thing. This is going to be better. It's a Jerry Bruckheimer movie. I was going to say, weren't weren't they kind of hoping that like that would kind of like the Pirates of the Caribbean people yeah. would transition yeah. into yeah, Prince yeah, of Persia yeah. people? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Resident Evil sucked as far as being like yeah. it's, not, it's nothing like it's not you know, the nothing like Well, the Silent Hill it, while they changed, you know, some of the characters it still has a lot of the game in it. Sure. That might be the best one actually. <sighs> I know it's bad, but it's still it's maybe bad. one of the better I think we're all forgetting Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Street oh, wait, Fighter. Wait, which came, oh, what came Street first? The, Street Super Mario or Street Fighter? Super Mario came first. Okay, so yeah. Street Mortal Fighter Kombat was like 94 or, or something, better, right? Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? Oh, we I mean, talked about that. We did. Have you seen Blanca in the in the Street Fighter movie? No nope. shit. Junk Club Van Damme's in that movie. Yes, yeah. Oh, that might give it a run for its money. Junk Club Van Damme is we the lead do, of that movie. If we ever did like, if we ever did Patreon shit. We we should do a all right. We're gonna watch Mortal Kombat. We're gonna watch Street Fighter, and that's we're gonna have a whole episode based on like which one's better and have a discussion on that. <laughs> that would be good. Mm-hmm. I think what's well, Mortal that. Kombat? Well, you don't know. Do you remember Street Fighter? I never saw it's Street got Fighter. Raul Julia in it. I know. Yeah. I didn't see yeah. it. Bison. I think that's that man the thing. is like five foot two. By the right? time these movies Love came that, out, May he rest. Specific, you know, like uh, Super Mario. Then it seems like Street Fighter was maybe like the next one. Somehow, I, so. I was like, you know, too old to watch them or something at that point. Pixel. And so I just skipped right over them. Definitely Pixel. But I saw Mortal Kombat because that was like the video game was, you know, had blood stuff in it or yeah. whatever. So it was like, we're going to make it. Oh, it a- was so violent back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was like so the controversial violent. game. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got to go back and listen we're to missing, Mortal we're Kombat a big episode. One where everyone's screaming at us. I'm mm-hmm. listening to this right now. I was like, how could you forget this? Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, please so we'll probably it. find out. Like, we'll talk about it next this. week. Um, but this movie is kind of... I'm like, we have not talked about this movie no. at all. Yeah. Oh, we're getting there. We're narrowing in it. <laughs> yeah, we I mean, gotta... 
it kind of it, big it comes around. from this era where like there's a to my mind there's a bunch of these movies that kind of look the same where it's like the the producers they have money mm -hmm. they go and rent out like the biggest stage that you can find and then they build this kind of junkyard uh future city set or like a block or whatever of it, you know it looks like the underground of the demolition, demolition man. man i was gonna say it looks a lot it like does, the I, man to right. the point where i was like city is it like the same set yeah. it's yeah. reused you know it could yeah. be i'm gonna throw one at you oh boy How, where are you on johnny Mnemon johnny mnemonic Ugh. fuck that <laughs> Oh, I, I all it. I remember I is like I, I remember the slot in his head, and I remember the dolphin. Right, there was a dolphin in the movie. Yeah, the talking dolphin. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, took up to the Johnny Mnemonic is the only movie I've ever walked out of. But do you remember really? <laughs> Dolph Lundgren's The Street I, no, Preacher? I didn't finish it. The, oh, no, I don't. I didn't finish it. It's been twenty years. Beat Takashi is in that movie from uh, Battle Royale. Oh He's shit! The one who has the lasso that cuts people's heads off. Yes, he's in that movie. Nice. I'd rather just go watch uh, Battle Royale. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. But I mean, but there's also like Tank Girl. I mean, like they all came out around the same time. Right. Yeah, right? It was These, that whole the like dystopian, like yeah. underground. It was very, uh, yeah. It's all but they all like, they feel or look the same. There's something about them that's all like, mm -hmm. I don't know, in their junkyard design. I mean, it's cool. It, it I guess. is a junkyard design. It's mm -hmm. just like yeah. the shitty future. Yeah, it's, it's, a very, good, it's, it's a version they're of, of Mad it's Max. It's all, they're all doing that Mad Max feel. That or it's kind of like... Um, um, Scott. Scott. Great Scott. No. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No. Not Adam Scott. Not Tony Scott. Scott um, Bakula. Um, Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. It's, okay. it's his shitty, like <laughs> greasy, grimy, rusty future. Yeah. But, it's all a Blade Runner. More, more. Uh, but isn't it more Batman? Pulpy, more, it's Batman. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's because yeah. the fucking Batman movie was out yeah. in like '89, and yeah. that's what's yeah. still on their mind in 1993, right? right. And they're like, it all looks like it all looks like a fucking backlot. Like yeah, yeah. it it, it all ever, looks like a soundstage. It, does, it looks so if ever, fake. If you've ever gone through like the back lot of any of these studios and everything, I, I I've seen it. and I look at it and like this all fucking looks like it looks like the nineties. I'm yeah. traveling yeah. through the nineties. Right <laughs> it's it's very comic book. Uh, it's all. It's all. Now very, that you say Batman, I'm picture. Is it Batman Forever? That every there's like the underground, like neon shit. Yeah. Is that what? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that? yeah. It's all yeah. very fake. You're looking. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, and there's mm -hmm. no re real. It's a hyper reality to it. Yeah. Obviously, especially yeah. if you're getting into this stuff, like yeah. and the crow is like the good one, right? Where it's it it's yeah. from that era, but yeah. it doesn't look necessarily like the other ones, even yeah. though it's yeah. basically doing the same thing. Right, but, but it is, has it like does its own change its look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Everything's brightly colored somehow in this like dingy apocalyptic town nation or whatever. It's like still everybody's wearing pastels. Everyone's though. wearing really bright colors, and yeah. everything's really. Like Vegas, I don't know. It's weird. Oh, yeah, the fucking nineties, man. I know. <laughs> what a fucking time. <laughs> fucking nineties. It is like weird future dystopian yes. Vegas. Yes. Yeah, it yeah. Is. yeah, it is. Yeah, that's yeah. what everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so a little, uh, yeah, yeah, a little uh, Total Recall in there as well. Just, just yeah, little, little, Total Recall little, has recall that. Yeah, yeah, it's got that feeling too. But I mean, I guess I do appreciate that. The Italian came out. I'm sorry, we're watching. a Yeah, but it was like Italian, but you're pulling up a zipper at the same time. What was that? Yeah, it looks like you. <laughs> like the jerk off motion. Yeah, yeah it did. It looked like you're. Yeah, whatever. This sorry. is the Italian sorry. movie. Italian or, they're Italian, Italian, Italian brothers, <laughs> but we're we got a, a very Latin guy playing an Italian, and we got a very British guy playing an Italian. Uh -huh. I don't know, Bob Hoskins. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah like, he's British. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, is it, he? Like, it works though. Is he also Italian? Or um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm saying it. He's a great Mario. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying it. Well, who else could have been Mario? He's, at this he's time? perfect. He's, he's a perfect cast Mario because he's a guy who's got a round face and he's got a Short, mustache. He's round. He's, he's little, got a mustache. He's a little plumber. Like he's perfect. <laughs> he's, perfect. he's the perfect Mario. Yes. When I, he puts I, that cap on, you're I like, I would not yeah. have cast anyone else. Love it. I mean, I agree with his casting. Yes. Let's let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. I don't I'm know enough it. about Luigi. I, I don't know if he's spot on or not. Luigi's Luigi's the middle child of this world. No one gives a fuck about Luigi. If you if you were a younger sibling, which I was you, you played you Luigi. got forced to play uh, I was, Luigi yeah i was always every like, time Luigi too yep. <laughs> well the movie uh expands i assume on the mythology of the video game. i don't know you're gonna have to yeah you're it doesn't it, no, there, it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with the game the fact no. that this movie's called super mario brothers is fucking preposterous they don't, they don't it has nothing to do with the, the movie. they don't acknowledge this world of like dinosaurs they're just there yeah it's that's just, not a thing just this like I don't know the whole like the whole cold open with like the the the, the, egg the, the, the like 
the basically the, the Big Bang theory the of this Italian universe. The Italian guy yeah. narrating like, like you know, there were fucking dinosaurs back in the day. You know? <laughs> yeah. Then a fucking meteor hit, and you know, shit happened. And just, right? and just imagine if, and they like, yeah. they. That's not <laughs> anything you, that ever what did happened. You say? They have to like set you up. What? What is it you said at the beginning? Oh, I don't remember. You were like, okay, now just remember all that, right? Something right, like right. that. You no, know? This is like, the part where it's like, they start out the movie, it's like, all right, you have to buy into the shit we're saying right now yes. yeah. in yes. order to accept the rest of the movie you're about to What watch. are they exactly saying? It. So a uh, meteor struck, and then... Brooklyn. you got to do Brooklyn's this more Italian. This is Brooklyn specific. It hit like, Brooklyn. And like I said, yeah. it's like, all right, Which look, if fucking, there was some shit back in yeah. the day, there were some dinosaurs, and then a fucking meteor hit the earth, and, uh, you know... It divided dimensions. Obviously. You know, there were dimensions and shit, and uh, <laughs> now we got Brooklyn. So here we go. Here's your plumbers. Go. And the opening shot was like a jungle. And I don't know anything about like prehistoric vegetation, <laughs> but I don't know if Brooklyn was ever a jungle. I, I, I assume. I don't know. Sure. We just have Most to accept this isn't our reality. Yeah. Like from yeah. the right. jump, right. you just have yeah. to be like, this is not our, none of this is our reality. I'm going to assume most things were a jungle before they turned into a Were they? I don't really know. I, 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 I don't, don't know. know. I don't so. know about climates back then. I don't know. I don't think the whole United States was ever a tropical jungle. Yeah. That's why I'm like, really? New York? <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe. At one um, point, it was all frozen. All right. So yeah, the... I don't know. But I mean, they, were, they had to go for it. But also, yeah. like, yeah. a fucking meteor never hit Brooklyn. Yeah. So that's we, have to, we have to deal with that. But the mm-hmm. idea that... I mean, the, this just the setup. for the rest yeah, of the show. Yeah, I think you should. I, so the <laughs> meteor you. hits. It splits dimensions. In one yeah. dimension, we have our world. And in the yeah. other dimension, uh, dinosaurs evolve over 65 million sure. years into people 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 Dinosaur who people. look exactly like people yeah not exactly and they live in an alternate dimension under the sewers of new york city apparently there's a deleted scene where koopa sees uh, who's koopa koopa is a uh, dennis, uh, dennis hopper. hopper who is god bless him King Koopa. King Koopa? Uh, the king, so he's, he's the king, king of the, the parallel universe. universe. It's, it's right. King Koopa versus uh, uh, via Max Headroom at this point. Okay. Mm-hmm. He's kind of got that He's same, got that, yeah, that yeah, look. He's, he's got that hair right, and yeah. look and everything. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there's a deleted scene where he sees uh, Manhattan. He sees New York before he is, excuse me, relegated to his world in the other dimension. And so he builds Dino Hatton. Mm-hmm. Their term, not mine. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, oh we've lost Holly. So uh, Dino Hatton. So he builds this city. Well, that based man, on Manhattan. Dino head. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I still hate it. There you go. No, we all hate it. But that is can't. what happened. He I saw can't. it and he's like, I must build this and be yeah. in charge of it. And so that is. Oh, what. so is that where the movie takes place? Dino Hatton? Dino Hatton. Okay. Yeah. That is Dino Hatton. It is Dino Hatton. Mm-hmm. Again. Not in the video game. Okay. Yeah, no. No, it's well, it's really not important. Like it really means nothing to the no. like anything. The no, creators yeah, apparently it. said that what the intention was that they started with the video game and tried to uh, reverse engineer it yeah. to figure out I how will, you got. I will tell you how, how did we get to you Mario? Get, well, you got to get two human you, guys yeah. in the crazy world of the you Mario video game. How it relates the movie and the video comes. game. They're saving the princess from King Koopa. That's it. That's literally it. Yeah. That is it. it. Nothing else. Yeah. Nothing else. But how did she get there? Well, the movie explains that. She was the the whatever. She's the princess of the Dino World who was delivered as an egg to nuns <laughs> an in egg. Manhattan. I just or say somewhere that, just say in that one again. of the boroughs. Just say that say what happened again. <laughs> one more time, slowly. The, the, the princess of the Dino World was delivered to nuns as an egg. <laughs> Yep. They were Are you fine saying with this. this? Is a, you're saying that because the movie like goes this far is like that, that oh, it's ridiculous. I mean, what are you? What <laughs> That's you, the first yeah. scene of the movie. Yeah. That's yeah. we're starting. Yeah. We're starting on that level. Played by yeah. the same after woman who plays after Daisy. we've established that Brooklyn was a jungle, right. yeah. then she's delivered to right nuns. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She's delivered to nuns, yeah. and they, uh, it's it's like uh, Superman coming to Earth. Yeah, but she's in a capsule. <laughs> How dare you? She has the rock like <laughs> right, Superman. The rock. Yeah. yeah, right. He's got the rock. It opens up. Uh, well, that's the, the in, remi- reminder from her home world, right. just like Superman. Uh, yep. Like I said, while this movie was happening, an egg hatches into a human baby in front of nuns, and the an nuns altar. they are unfazed, are okay with on this. an altar. Yeah, I don't know. I grew up Catholic. <laughs> uh, this was not acceptable, as far as I knew, in the yeah. uh, teachings and the lore and what have you. This was not a thing that was going to be like, oh, that's fine. We'll just no, accept this, this baby. This is the Antichrist. Yeah, this yeah. is no. They uh, would have killed this thing with the rock. Yeah. Just stab its death, and uh, that would have been it. 
Well, thank God we're in a kids movie. See, this is the thing I'm <laughs> thank thinking. Thank God like, for you, Colin. The, the, the Lord. <laughs> but the the mentality of all this, you know, it's like, yeah, I guess for adults, maybe is that what we're saying we're sitting down to watch it tonight. Yeah. It's like, whoa, you just went like way off into fantasy land, like from right. the get go of this movie. Uh, they they do it in the narration. They're like, uh, because it gets in with the well, again when the Italian guy is narrating the beginning. He's like, uh, uh, a dinosaur lived six five million years ago. Uh, then we had fucking multiple dimensions. <laughs> And she's like, whoa, <laughs> what, what? Uh-huh. All right, fine. Yeah. That's a thing that we're going for. So you pretty much, like I said, you have easy. to accept it right off the bat. Kids kind of uh, just absorb this stuff and roll with it. I sure. Think, oh, and yeah. Maybe it's a thing, yeah. like, as you're an adult, you it takes you more like, okay, I am willing to go with you into crazy places, but you kind of have to start with something I recognize and slowly take me there. And, you know, it's kids like, know what plumber life is like, right? They can right. totally grab on to, like, following two middle, like a middle-aged dude and a 20-year-old dude around at their plumbing jobs. Sure. Like, I mean, what? A plumber <laughs> fixes uh, pipes. And at some point in the movie, pipes burst, and they get down there with their plumbing tools and do some kind of magic, mm. which we don't know what they were doing. It's like they're just tightening shit. See, yeah. I'm separate from this because my grandpa and my dad were plumbers. <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh, you were, like, calling it out. So I was like, oh, yeah. That's why I was like, what is he What is he tightening? <laughs> There's nothing to tighten. Yeah. Yeah, that, that part I was like, kid, okay. It's kid-level plumbing. <laughs> it he is. has a wrench. And it does something, yeah. right. and the water stops. It really is. Yeah. We have one bolt to tighten. Mm-hmm. No, all the <laughs> all the tools he was handling, he was handing him. No, they, <laughs> all those tools would not be used at the same time. Yeah. Um. Well, okay. So these two, uh, these two brothers. Uh, no. Well, the other. Well, pair. are they though? They, are brothers. they? They say they are. They say they are. But then they also say that. Well, first of all, Bob Hoskins is like what fifty years old, <laughs> and John Lake was <laughs> almost like, like twenty. Yeah, he's like thirty-five. If twenty, he might even be younger than that. Uh, he's very young in this. He's movie, really yeah. young, and he says they say they're brothers. But then he also says, "Oh, he was my mother, my father, it my my like whole family." Because I had no family. Was the uh, oops baby like way late yeah. in yeah. the game? Yeah. And was raised by his very older brother, yeah. Yeah. Mario. Because they do say something <laughs> later on about, like, one of, I think Mario almost dies, and he says something about he would have been an only child or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So, if they're brothers. Yeah, they're, they're brothers. They have to be. Yeah. Laura says they must be. That's Mario, right. Mario, and Luigi, Mario. <laughs> so fucking Last stupid. Name, Mario. I assume that's Luigi. the movie. Or were they Mario Mario in the, in game? the game? They never they dressed never that. Game. They never say. It's just Mario and Luigi, and they're the Mario yeah. brothers, yeah. right? Mario yeah. and Luigi. There's no, there's no origin story to them in any of these games. No. Like it doesn't matter because it doesn't no, fucking matter. Because they, they just come out of a pipe and they start they fighting. Yeah, yeah. And they jump on Goombas and they throw fireballs out <laughs> yeah. of their fingers. It's not a that world you need to be. A that's all we need. It's all we need. It's not a world you're meant to question or like you know explore more of. Heads and wings. in Yeah. I mean that begs a question question then it's like a why would making a movie out of that video that particular so video hard. game no why would it be like a thing you'd want to do in exactly. the first place <laughs> i mean that's number one obviously we can make money off of it because it's a name popular and people mm-hmm. are yeah yep but otherwise it's like how do you crack this one i mean this is uh a plumber a lot of running around through worlds trying to save a princess shooting fireballs stepping on mushrooms stuff but see, I Goombas. think there is a world in which you can write a version of this movie that is much more linear and straightforward, yeah. where you just make it I can, him yeah. saving the princess, but make it like right. a we don't Ralph a Bakshi hierarchy. like heavy metal type movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, really give it some like uh, like Frank Frazetta kind of like weight to it and style to it, not like kid like. Yeah, well, I, you, you know, like, like Wreck It Ralph or something. Yeah, right? you'd animate it and just they would be in that world from the get go, yeah. and you exactly. don't have to. Yes, do the whole, exactly. If you, you know, walk in dimensional travel, yes, <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly. I was going to say if if you wanted to write this. I say do it like the video game. Just jump right in and accept that this is how it is. Mm-hmm. You know, Isn't he's already in this world. Something? The, there, aren't there Mario? There was yeah, like an animated TV show. Well, and there was place. there was a Saturday morning show. That's what I'm thinking. With yeah. like live action Mario and Luigi. And, oh really? Yeah, and That's they like intro- really. and they no. yes and no. yeah. I I remember there was an animated show. Oh, we're going. No, going I'm to the pretty. I'm, I'm sorry. Sometimes Holly makes shit up, so I'm just. I'm just gonna call her out. On honestly, it. I'm pretty sure it was like the intro to the cartoon. Oh, okay. But yes, like there on was, Fox Kids or something. And it was like Saturday morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to pull this up. I'm gonna need some proof. All right, Captain you, Google Sean. is the case. <laughs> I'm gonna need some proof. <laughs> um, to, to know that there was another 
different live action version version of the Mario Brothers. I'm gonna need some proof. Sean's a massive Mario Brothers fan. Not you know how we know that? Because during the movie, he was a laughing at all the jokes. <laughs> He's giggling like a five year old through this whole movie. That the rest of us are just like dead silent. <laughs> well, I was tired, so I mean, well, yeah. That. <laughs> I fa- I didn't find it. No joke got a fucking chuckle out of me. That's for fucking sure. I watched this movie a whole lot when I was younger. So how watch- old were you? <sighs> I like from. Five to 12. I'm like, this is the target. Like five You're to right in the target audience. Wait, how old were you, a lot Michaela, of times when you first saw this? Oh, like a straight up adult, like four or five years ago. No, no, and no, I was no, like, no, I was no, like, no, this no. movie's fucking stupid. <laughs> you yeah. know, I, it just. No, you're wrapped in a nostalgia blanket over there, so Sean. That's much. why you're ter- reverting to a five year old when you're watching you it. You know, when uh, like Dennis Hopper's going, huh, monkeys. I'm just like, that's funny. Super Mario because Brothers I'm- Super Show. Oh, oh shit! Whoa, that, <laughs> oh, no. that, that actually looks horrible. Familiar. Yes, I it. I remember this. Yes. Wow, that's I'm transfixed by this. Mm-hmm. Is that '89? Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. No. Yep. That's bad. You know what? It's probably <laughs> more accurate though. I don't want it's to probably anymore. more accurate to the game than I'm, this movie yeah. is. Like see how there's like a cartoon behind them? I, I think they like introduced the cartoon. Uh-huh. Yeah. The okay. Super but Mario they were Brothers in an Super Show. Or a show or I don't something. remember. They're just like, "Hey, here's another one for you." Yeah. I don't remember what they did. Yeah. But it existed. It did exist. Right. Damn it. There it is. Is this movie The Wizard of Oz? I'm throwing that out there. Is it The Wizard of Oz? What? You know, I also thought it was like Tron. So the the idea that you Wait, start what with, are you saying? Okay. What right. things are you saying? I'm going to work this out. Well, this worked for a little while because you have your heroes are to, are in the the quote unquote real world for the first 15 minutes of the movie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then there is some kind of magical device which transports them from the real world to the fantasy world. Yeah. Right. Yep. And then within. So then you're introduced to this fantasy world and it's big and all this other stuff. I don't know if this is going to work for, uh, for, well, for Wizard of Oz, I guess it's when Dorothy goes off on the road and she has to go on the adventure. So she goes off by herself Mm -hmm. in Tron. The guys have to break out of the, uh, the game grid and they end up in the, you know, outside of the game grid. And in this one, they're in the big city thing and then they go down through the tunnels or whatever and end up in the desert in the desert. Yeah. I mean, so it's following like the same kind of world two for you. Super Mario. people. (laughs) (laughs) There should have been an angry sun in this. Oh God. We just needed, there was actually (laughs) even like the clicking of the heels at the end of this movie, which kind of like also like made me think about that. But I don't think there's a wizard. Is there a witch? Who's the the? It would be well, the, the wicked either. witch is uh, fucking Fiona Shaw. Yeah, I suppose, right? Yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Yeah, that that makes the most sense. Instead of holding Toto, I don't like this comparison. They're holding. I, I, I'm uh, not on board with Daisy. this at all. Yeah. You, yeah. I, I think stop. we got to clicking of the yeah. heels, and that's far. Well, we it's go doing with that. some kind of like the whole Did movie is basically a adventure film, right? Which is sure. it's never supposed to stop moving. You know, you're not supposed to really yeah, think go, about go, it. Go go go. There's a lot of action. You um, shouldn't think about it. No. Yeah. But I mean, this is what the you know it's some kind. It's like a you know what the goal is is that they have to get the girl back because the MacGuffin is the uh, stone that she has around her neck. Yeah. Once they put that in something, Can you it's call gonna, it a MacGuffin if you know what it is. Is that a it's thing? just it, it doesn't. Think, but the MacGuffin is it doesn't matter what it is. It but because it does because like it's the like it's the rock that goes in the. It doesn't table. though because they they have a hole in their own logic of this movie because they say that this stone has to go back to to open up the portal between the two worlds. Right, but right before that, they say that they were able to come between the two worlds because it's open. So it's already open. So it doesn't matter. I think, well, it's because the meteorite was right there because she had the rock on her neck and they were right close to everything. Yeah, because she was she was digging in close she was, proximity. She has right, she The talisman there. has to get in close proximity yeah, to right. the... That's why yeah. they if were, the rock piece is not They near came that. through and followed them all downtown, though. Right, yeah, because, because she, was, she the, was right there. She with was the rock right there digging. Neck. That's oh what God, opened stupid. the portal. <laughs> yeah, and that's how they got through because they grabbed right. the rock from her, and then the rock, you know, and, and they, they were yeah. able to go through. through. Yeah, and then the rock goes on its own journey because it's abducted by several different everybody. people, including and the pine saw lady. It. The, it's <laughs> including the pine saw lady, who I'm pretty sure is not. The it pine is the pine saw lady. It's not the pine saw lady. No, it is. I don't think it is. Dear God. Sean believes that uh, what was the character's I, I name? I thought it was the pirate. She's like Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Big Bertha. She's the bouncer in like a club, which right. every nineties movie has a of crush this. Crush on Mario. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
I guess uh, his charm works on everyone. <laughs> so comes to look at Which how how like so is she or is she how much time passes in this? Know. Like they've like they've been two? in like Dino like Hatton like long I enough to like have days. established relationships with people. I think it's like two days. Yeah, we never see <laughs> I mean, the sunrise. Like, I don't think. Well, there's well, no. I don't think they the, go into I don't the, think the sun rises the in Dino at night. <laughs> well, it's under subterranean. Yeah, yeah. They go into the desert at night and they're walking through it the next day. So there's at least two days okay. within this universe. Yeah. I'm perfectly fine with that. There you go. Yeah. Sure. And in between, they get in all sorts of adventures. There's two guys led by Fisher Stevens and oh the other boy. guy who looks from Mojo. Me, I can't remember what his name is. Mojo Nixon or Mojo. Is Jackson? that his real name? Mojo. Mojo Jackson. Mojo, Mojo is his name. You'll find. You'd him recognize Mojo. him. You, you would recognize him. him. Yeah. Uh, they are like these lizard the cousins people. Cousins of King Koopa. Yeah. In right. The, yeah. They are pursuing trying to get the stone back. At some point, yeah. King Koopa. Well, no, he doesn't. He turns them. He's so King Koopa has this device, right? Kind of like the. I was reminded of the thing in Dead Heat that like made the zombies. But it's the this Devo one, machine. It does kind of look like that. The yeah. Devo machine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. evolution. Uh, the de evolution machine. Yeah, Devo. Devo. And basically, he puts no. uh, it over the top of the heads of his minions, which de shrinks or expands their, their brains. heads. Yeah. And turns them into Goombas. dinosaur men. Goombas. The Goombas. Goombas. Goombas are in the game. Goombas are the ones, that are the little head dudes who walk around back and forth. They hit a thing and they go back Yeah, it makes no sense that in this, if, that their if, heads are tiny and their bodies are huge because it's the opposite the design in the game. is yeah. absolutely ridiculous and absolutely. makes no sense no to sense. anything aside from like, this would be funny if they had giant bodies and small heads. That's yeah, it. I guarantee that you the that's thing. the amount of thought that went that's into it. That's all that went yeah. into it. It would have been yeah. better if like one of the heads had jumped off and become yeah. a Goomba and had walked like, uh, that would have been cool and I would have understood it, yeah. mm-hmm. but they don't do that. And so it makes no sense. It's just something they thought like, yeah, oh, this would be funny if they were giant bodied and small headed. That's it. It's literally the opposite of what a Goomba looks like. Right. Instead, yeah. of, instead of giant headed and small. But they yeah. wouldn't have like, had that awesome scene in the The elevator. awesome dance scene where the swang. Oh the awesome swang, swang scene. To the... I mean, you have to picture these, Sean, these, you were just like hyping that scene up and it landed for no one but you. Yeah. No, no, you're like, this is, yeah, you're playing this nostalgia thing because it was like, I was sitting there like, oh, this is the scene. He said, this is the scene. What is he going to do? And uh, Luigi like gets the dinosaurs because they're all stupid, basically. Yeah. He gets them to start swaying and they're all swaying and dancing to the music to escape and they the escape. elevator. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they're that just was, big dumb idiots. That, that was it. That, was, that it. was it. But they had little cute, like, animatronics. Heads. They did. Like the animatronic heads. Cute. I was like, well, okay. It's cute. I appreciated the animatronic uh, and the animation <laughs> right, like, that oh, was done. Because I'm like, this isn't CG, right? No. Right. Like, oh, there's no. a lot of really bad the, CG in this The movie. technical marvel that is Yoshi is fascinating. Like, Was yeah. that the one that was designed by Patrick Totopoulos? I think so, yeah. Or yes. did he do the... Uh, the I'm pretty... Y- Yoshi was like the, the most labor intensive like thing Kong in this movie. The, Movie. I'm just like the Jurassic Park people were very jealous of this dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, it's a this, pretty good. They, it's a pretty, they brought yeah. him. Spielberg brought like his animators by right. to come look at how it was made right. while they were making this movie. Like, oh, yeah, dude, that's very good. You what did they say? Like good. 64 points of articulation. Right, yeah. and yeah. like that's 11, 11 elements. Yeah. 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 like working the fucking gears yeah. Yeah. of this thing. Well, it's there was sometimes I'm like his yeah. head must have been a puppet. This is a little I think you said like a baby dinosaur, but like there were times when it was walking where I'm like, is that CG? I don't think it is. Stop motion. It looks like some version of yeah, that. Yeah, but, but like it's, it's walking it's all in front of you and yeah. yeah. It feels like they had to erase something yeah, within maybe. that and I think that's why we get the look we do. Yeah, probably the sticks or something. Right, yeah, but other than that, that's that it looks fucking pretty dinosaur. Great, yeah. mm-hmm. Looks pretty good. And when it's close this up on a... its face, it has like all these kind of like, it can right. do all these expressions yeah. with yeah. different parts of it and that's where I was like, wow, they packed a lot of fucking motors into that. Yeah. Thing. Mm-hmm. This movie was a special effects marvel at the time. Do tell. People watch this movie, and despite what the story would, you know, made people feel, people loved the special effects of this movie. That is true. This was like bleeding edge technology when this came out. I can believe it. The only thing people loved about this movie, if they did, was the technology and the special effects. They thought it was groundbreaking. Yeah. They loved it in this movie. When, uh, yeah, because we said it was the same year as same Jurassic, year as Jurassic Park. Park. And there's a lot of just like special effects that had not been seen before. Even things were like uh, everyone's starting to disappear when the world's emerging and everything. Yeah. Like 
they turn into like grains of sand. They like do, whatever. like Infinity War. Like, yeah, virtual. just like Infinity War. Yeah. <laughs> um, like it doesn't look like it looks like it's from the '90s, but I've seen really bad versions of that where you can see the outlines of green screen and all shit like that. Mm-hmm. This looked good well, for the '90s. For the '90s, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can I can believe that it was probably yeah, yeah a technical marvel that a nobody nobody marvel. Yeah. saw. Wait, do we say what the box office was on this forty eight million dollar? Oh, it, oh okay. Alan. I'll tell you. It's it like was like twenty five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is bombed really hard. It was ripped to shit by critics and it was shunned yep. by the movie going audience. Mm-hmm. I assume because everybody looked at it and basically said this isn't Super Mario Brothers like at all, just based on the uh, the yeah. commercials. I don't know how you could cut a trailer. To, that makes it seem like it's anything like the game. There's nothing there. There's nothing to show. There's no like. There's no even real imagery from the game, even if it's not following the story. That's yeah. what gets me. Like it, you are not even taking the imagery mm-hmm. from it. No, yeah. Because I, I remember the trailer pretty specifically, especially after going and watching this movie. I'd be like, that was a trailer moment. That was a trailer moment. Him yeah. flying through the air with the boots. That was a trailer moment. And like, none of that looks like Mario shit. No, mm-hmm. and it was. And there's there's just all these little moments that you're waiting for that like connection to happen. Like the mushroom, you're waiting for like the payoff for like the mushroom because that's such a big element of yeah. the video game. Yeah. And they come across it in the uh, like the tunnel thing. Get big. They come across it in the tunnel and they make a comment about the mushroom. You're like, okay, that's gonna come back later, and it does. But it's just so Kinda. wrong. Yeah. It's so wrong. It's like, oh, it doesn't. Stops a Devo gun. He uses it as like a shield. Yeah. It's like it's, like, it's such. <sighs> Bullshit. It's not Mario. It doesn't. There's again yeah. the only thing that really comes to fruition is the fucking bomb. Yeah, <laughs> I love that bomb. Yeah, it, it's a bomb. It's a little wind up. It's uh, a tiny. I and I love the idea of it too. I do Because it's just I a tiny little wind up yeah. bomb, and everyone On freaks the feet out or whatever. Right, with walks. the little walking feet. And oh yeah, yeah. Because it's a bomb, and, it's everybody a, and everyone fucking runs away. Even yeah. even fucking Koopa's like a bomb. Yeah. And he winds it up and it fucking starts walking. And it pays off at the end. And it's really And it's cute. really one of the only things that does. And it's really cute. It's, it's really cute. Like, and it blows up. What kills me is that they will go for really weird out-of-the-box things, but like they choose to invent their own new ones instead of going with the weird things from the game. Like, yeah. Like, you totally could have put a point in this movie where Mario eats a fucking leaf, grows raccoon ears and a tail, and flies right, around, yeah, and it yeah. would have fit in. Right, could have done it. Perfectly fine <laughs> in the logic of this yeah. movie. Yeah. And that would have been taking some a small thing from the game that would have, you know, helped it a little bit. But no, no, forget all that. Forget all even, that. Even yeah. and anything as basic as eating a mushroom and he grows a few sizes mm-hmm. for a little bit mm-hmm. to yeah. like beat an enemy and then gives back down mm-hmm. and then they go on with the rest of the movie. Even that like seems like the simplest thing in the world to do and they didn't do it. Yeah. Why not? Well, it seems like they were in some ways too literal minded. I mean, I know I that there's so. like three screenwriters. One of them is Ed Solomon, who might be, if I remember, I think it was. Wasn't him and Ed Newmeyer did uh, I think Ed Newmeyer, yeah. Did Robocop? Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, I think I read on Wikipedia, thank you, that uh, <laughs> the first draft of this movie was written by the guy who wrote Rain Man. Yes. What? And, and he made it too much like Rain Man. <laughs> he made it like a serious dramatic, you know, thing. I want to re- see that movie. I'm <laughs> curious. I'm, like, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It, Super Mario like Rain a, Man? Uh, yes, yeah. please. It's a movie like Rain Man. And they're yeah. just like, ah, it's too much like Rain Man. And so they brought <laughs> two other guys in to so rewrite was, him. So was Luigi the one with mental issues I then? I think so. But that would be a nice double yes. feature to our Coen Brothers Oregon it Trail was, movie. Sure. Yes, it would. <laughs> Uh, yes, Robocop was Edward Newmeyer and Michael Miner. Damn, what did Ed Solomon do? You have to check. Uh, it seemed like his name was familiar. And Maybe why? Not. Okay, of all of the moments in this movie where they jump over things, uh, why didn't oh. they ever do the jump pose? I know. Why? why? I know. Why didn't they do it? It's uh, what is the jump pose. Jump pose. Yeah, oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why didn't they ever do it? Mm. I don't know. They jump a lot in this movie. Yeah, yeah. he wrote Bill and Ted. <laughs> that's Ed all Solomon. the Bill and Ted's. Yeah, yeah. okay, right. That there you go. Oh, sense. Mom and Dad Save the World. I wrote that. Nope. Super Mario Brothers, Men in Black. Well, let's talk about. Here's one of the things where I have, when I have been going back and looking at 90s movies, the place where they really fall on their ass is their soundtrack. But I didn't think this one was all that bad. Every walk I dinosaur. Didn't like it. Come on, it was too much. Was that yeah, I mean like, but oh, it's, it's an album, perfect. right? The score, it's not the score new was, metal and all that no, fucking no, no. stuff yeah, the, that sounds the, like Creed. Yeah, yeah. The well, I this was way pre predated that type of music. Yeah, but. yeah. Mm. This was at the end of when like a soundtrack from a movie 
was actually like something you'd go out and buy. Yeah, the soundtrack was not bad. There was a lot of really good soundtracks in the nineties, like some really. Fun yeah, ones. this was in a spectacular soundtrack. Yeah, it had a few good and like. And the score Walk was the ridiculous. Was, Walk the Dinosaur was, was great. great. Yeah, like I was all was for great. that. I want to listen to it right now. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. I'm all for it. Did we say that's by uh, that was was not was. Was not was I think it was what? Walk, oh, God, walk the say, dinosaur. Yeah, sure. Yep, but the big credit at the end is a rock set for whatever the hell song. And the divinals and the divinals. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's a great name for a band. It is because yeah. it turned th- up in like a lot of movies. Right? Austin Powers, I think, is the biggest. Nightmare on Elm Street uh, Four. I that might have been. I touch myself. They might have had that in Austin okay. Powers. Yeah, yeah. That isn't well, it? Yeah, in, yeah. Well, then what the fuck? Someone in Elm Street Four. Whatever. They were a soundtrack <laughs> band back then. Um but the score is by Alan Silvestri. And it's ridiculous. Yeah. But this guy is like, this is not like, you know, bargain basement movie scoring. No, no he's oh, legit. He's, but yeah. I mean, this is a guy who came up I've with Back the, to the Future. Yeah. I've, I've heard the score before. Like, like this is this is used in other movies, right? Is mm-hmm. it? This exact it sounds score. Like it. It's definitely by the guy who just like, oh, that sounds He's funny. slightly rearranged his like, previous right. score. Because I feel it's, like I've heard this exactly in other movies. It's not, as, it's not exactly as, as like movies. Manfredini or anything like that, but it's, you know. How do you describe the score? Benny Hill. Uh, okay. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Benny, Benny Hill constantly, in for the most part. for the scenes it shows up in. Yeah. It's extremely active. It's active for scenes that are not. Whimsical. Sure, yeah, definitely. In scenes where you're right, it's like Alan Silvestri is always seems very whimsical. It's yeah, everything is like. Well, he's the he's the Robert Zemeckis guy, right? Yeah, if it's a Robert Zemeckis movie, it's got Alan Silvestri. It doesn't fit with the scenes that are happening. Uh, He in a lot of other movies, like everything seems to like gel pretty well, and this one is just like ah, your 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 pace doesn't fit with what's going on in your scene right now. Everything sounds like you're watching like. A mischievous or precocious child, and that's never what's happening. (laughs) There's an event happening. A series of events going on that are leading to something. Yeah, is what the score is telling. And you're like, no, the events and what's happening in the movie is not doing. There's really nothing happening. No, they're making pasta or something. Yeah, Yeah, we're at dinner. So strange. Yeah, it's like ah, you're you're talking. What you're not you're not doing anything right now. Yeah, Yeah. you should be doing something. That's very weird. How was Dennis Hopper? As he, good as as good he's, as anyone he's could Dennis be Hopper. Like, like he is, I mean, he is he did Dennis Hopper. He could. Yeah. He was. Uh, everyone had a bad time making this movie. Let's did they? That. Yeah. Oh yeah. Most everyone people had, were drunk. Most, most people the were time. drunk. Yeah. Uh, they don't come had, off as drunk when you watch it. I was watching. I, mean, I was. I maybe the same thing. I they like, don't have that drunk I face. I forgot to watch for the fucking like. Uh, Bob Hoskins broke his hand during this movie and was wearing a cast for a good portion of it. And apparently it's colored pink to match. Really? To match his hand, and you could see in the movie. Fuck! I forgot to look for it. Oh, but maybe that's why Bob. Hoskins is ADR'd so much. Maybe he's drunk slurring. Everyone's the whole ADR'd movie. in this movie. Yeah. It's so much ADR. Because mm-hmm. of the big fans they had going? Or because everybody's drunk? Yeah, again. Well, mostly because everybody's drunk. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, again, nobody had a good time making this movie. Um, it, the movie got taken away from the directors at some point. They had yeah, to, I heard about They that. had to sue or they had to fight for like legal battles to get back in the editing Because this guy Jaffe together. or whatever was like, no, I'm going to cut it together the way yeah, I want it's it. It's like put you guys together. did horrible. We're taking it away from you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what was uh, Hoskins and uh, Hoskins and Hopper? I think mm-hmm. have always like said that it was like the worst professional experience right. of the yeah. 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 Like, What's the worst thing you ever done? What's the worst thing you what, what, what would you go back and change? <laughs> uh, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> it's just like oh, okay. but it's funny when you watch these things. It's like you know I imagine like when I'm watching Aquaman and I'm seeing Nicole Kidman and Willem Dafoe and like all these people in these right. ridiculous suits and they're standing on green screens. They're saying the stupid S- fucking similar dialogue. shit. It's we'll like, say. it can go one way or the other. Right. Exactly. Right. It's like Aquaman kind of sort of works. This one does not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, huh. But I don't think as an actor, like I really do think like these people walk into something and they're like I'm here and I'm just going to do the best that I can and you have no idea how the finished product's going to Well yeah because like sometimes just reading a script and picturing it in your mind you can't really tell how bad the final result's going to be yeah. you know your yeah. idea of what the movie's going to be could be completely different from what it ends up being especially right. if it goes through a bunch of development hell and editing hell and you know yeah. this movie's edited really poorly yeah, I think this, the editing is fucking garbage. Isn't this Oscar movie. winner uh, Mark uh, Goldblatt? Uh, Goldblatt, Ooh. I think, yeah. The director of Dead Heat? Is I he... think, yeah, do we decide? I think oh he's dire- he's the editor of many, many like Terminator action movies. And, Terminator yeah. and he's so fucking phoned things. it in director on this shit. Dead Heat and everything. Maybe he was drunk, too. Yeah, yeah that's, that's possible, possible that he, he just didn't have the footage. If I saw the, the shit that was coming in, I'd be like, 
I'll drink but a little bit. But it's not yeah. it's not a lack of footage. It's editing at weird points in scenes that don't make any sense. Like when they're the first part that I noticed it is when they're out to eat with their dates in like the first act. Yeah. And um and like Wazamo and uh, Samantha Mathis are like fl- flirting together or whatever, right? And like then they're like they're like looking at each other, having a moment, and then they agree that he's going to walk her home. And then they cut to Bob, Bob Hoskins, Hoskins, and he takes a, a bite, a really awkward bite of food, and then that's yeah. the end of the scene. It was it was a what? weird. It was Why? a really weird shot. I remember it, that. It yeah. wasn't even a reaction shot. They, it was literally him eating food. Like they, just they cut up the uh, elevator swaying scene, which I think is <laughs> unfor- personally unforgivable because that should have just been one scene. Uh, I think it would have been way more effective had they done I, that, I mean, I'm I'm not saying that it still would have flown, but I agree that it may have It would have made it, it made it better. If nothing else, what, incremental as it may have been to make yeah. it better, it would have made it better. You would have had to see him go up to every single one of those fucking I know. Buttons. No, I'm not. No, no. <laughs> Sean's sitting there going like, that's the best joke about this joke that like went on forever they just kept on bringing it back and it's like but why sean why is this the best joke in the movie because it's so stupid <laughs> that's every joke in this movie's fucking yeah, stupid <laughs> but what it's made so that stupid. one like yeah because they're just the, because, because i they remember were, it being great because they were and in the middle it. they were in the middle of this like intense like war moment and right. he's Escaping, like and, and, and he's like your pizza's like, here <laughs> yeah there's a whole right. bit about like because it's, a, it's, a, it's just a, a weird scene yeah. to a pizza joke yeah. in this movie i agree that that was pretty funny that's wow. uh they keep going with it which is like i give them i give them credit for doing that where they just they kept track of that joke because at one point we were like, "Where's your pizza?" Right, and they and because they satisfied that answer, and they did it. Yes, mm-hmm. and so he's like, "Where's my pizza?" Worked. That's why <laughs> that worked. It. it wasn't just a throwaway scene for no reason right. in the movie. Because it could have been it was in like, there for I'd like a to reason. order a pizza, and that could yeah. have been it, which it felt like for a while. And then they reference it like two more times. I'm just like, "All right, your because, pizza's yeah, here." Bravo. Wait, where's my pizza? Because the fact that this this like world, yes, the filmmakers are doing the least amount of work they possibly and Sean's blown away by it. Yeah. And I like it. So yes, this, like bravo to yeah. them. This Sean's like, like they were, they said something they talked about earlier. This movie's fucking awesome. <laughs> right, they paid off something they talked about earlier. You know what? That's well because the rest movie. of it like For has movie, no. That's great. Well, it does remember. I guess that we have to get the princess back. Yeah, Samantha Matthews. Sure. Yeah. You know, it does remember that. Right. Okay. Well, you that. Gotta remember yeah. that oh, in the were you pizza. not going anywhere else with that one? It's like, no, yes, what else did. did it have? It's like, I mean, there's a... But she doesn't come back. She's, she well, stays in our universe. Her. They got to rescue There's no point they're, anyways. They're, they're rescue, it's yeah. all for naught. It's stupid. They back, if nothing else, yeah. And you well, can't get back through that yeah. portal without it the ends, rock. It ends up that they're not her. really... They don't save the princess, They're not though. really rescuing the princess. Yeah. They're, like, saving they're de- the world. Right. They're defeating yeah, the bad guys. They don't have to necessarily save her, but they have to get rid of the guys who are not good. Devo guns and whatnot. Yeah. And once King Koopa is out of the way, he gets a taste of his own medicine in the de-evolution chamber and turns into primordial sludge. Yeah. And the evil witch yep. of you know ends up uh, making Stuck an impression, yeah. <laughs> making, which was Colin's favorite joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she gets blasted and, into a wall, and then the yeah. fungus king turns back into a person. It turns back it into turns, Lance Hendrickson for a yeah. scene. For a I'm scene, I'm like, was there supposed to be more to his part? I, Probably, right? There had to have been, well, right? Because there had to have been like a reunion moment, right? Because yeah. sure. ne- they never actually show that like they she don't. knows that he's turned back, yeah. right? So His character spends the entire movie as a fungus that's spread throughout the entire world. This right. is a major plot point, yeah. but he's helping uh, the Mario brothers on their quest by basically forming trampolines and handing them stuff as fungus. Right. Like the fungus will reach down and do weird shit. Give them a bombs and give them mushrooms. Yeah, trust yeah. the fungus, Sean. Trust the fungus. Trust yeah. the fungus. Mm-hmm. Only the I fungus mean, would pay it off. I'm talking about turning into Lance Henderson, and then you're like, oh, that, that's why he's awesome. Anything that turns into Lance Henderson is a payoff. <laughs> that is a payoff. That's, I agree. In, in my, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that's a payoff. You get something in a movie that turns into Lance Henderson? Yeah. Good. There you Good. go. For a second. All right. That's fine. Yeah, for a half <laughs> a second. Fun. All right, then. <laughs> We've talked at length about Super we Mario Bros. We have. Uh, oh, any stray reser- uh, reservations? <laughs> many, I mean, they, def- they yeah. definitely set it up for a sequel. Did they really believe in a sequel? I assume that they thought this was the beginning of a franchise. Yeah, I if you think don't, so. I mean, if you're not going to go into, if you're going to go into this movie and you don't believe, like, 
Yeah, so the, if you're if you're gonna be make, all end all, and if you're gonna you're make a gonna Super Mario going, Brothers and like, you don't expect to make Super Mario Brothers two, right? Like, yeah, like yeah. you have to. Yeah, no matter what, you have to yeah, go there. But you can still write a sequel without having a sequel set up. Movies, movie execs need to realize that you don't have to set up the sequel. You can just write the movie and then yeah. figure out the sequel later. That is something <laughs> that I think more people nowadays need to do. It's yeah. like you can write a sequel if you just make a movie. Yeah, uh, like, Bob Shea looking at you with Nightmare on Elm Street, putting that bastardized ending, tacking I'm, that on the end of that I'm movie. I'm looking at like the MCU who makes these movies just to set up sequels like you mm-hmm. can make a, a whole solid movie and just make it feel like it's its own thing and mm-hmm. then you can write a sequel to it yeah instead of just yep. setting it up mm-hmm. i digress the uh the metal shoes that the goombas wear oh, the, thwomp, yeah. the what the thwompers? the thwompers those okay those are the same boots that in face off that they wear in the yes! metal prison right to the metallic <laughs> <that laughs> yeah, yeah. down yeah. yes mm-hmm. A little bit of uh, prop sharing. Yeah. yeah. Once it gets, what do they call it? When you release props from one movie, they keep them for a while. Sure. Mm-hmm. But at some point, they release them into the stream or into the flow or something like that. They call oh. it is when it's like they, basically then you can go rent it from a prop room. Oh, is this where they end up on like those, yeah, and, those and prop other people? stuff right. like those fucking Starship Troopers uh, uniforms I have seen in oh, other sure. TV oh, shows. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, for or, a while or it was like, else, like space it. armor. Boom. This is it. why sets end up. And you're like, I've seen that fucking yeah, set yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they hang on to it for a certain period of time oh, sure. and then they release it. Into yeah, you can't let it go if you do reshoots. Yeah, right. So and then the low budget people can be like can get that shit at a discount and be like, yeah, hey, yeah, this yeah. Is, we can use this for our yeah. movie now. That's how it works. And they can be like, that's Starship Troopers shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit yeah. And that Ghostbusters, uh, the little, the... Um, the PK meter? It was in yeah. They Live. Was it? Yeah, you don't remember? Oh, it was. Yeah. I can watch it. It's the Ghostbusters PK meter. It was in They meter. Live? It's yeah. in They Live. At the end, the soldier guys who are going through the TV station have it. They're up on the third <gasps> floor or whatever. You're right. Like, Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, shit. I never Boom. noticed I, I got to watch the end of that again. Yep. All right. So what we're going to do, folks, uh, stick with us. We're going to tell you what we thought of uh, Super Mario Brothers. This is going to be the best part of the mo- of the show. But that before that, me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. before that, we are going to read some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. And his name is Igor. And Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Thanks. All right, so. Got uh, nothing. I got yeah, nothing. We're for that one. <laughs> well, we should tell folks how they can get a hold of us. Uh, we want you to write in. We'll read your comments on the air. You can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Yay, we have everyone here to do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Instead of the awkward me and Sean looking at each other, being like, "You, you, like, you're gonna it, go." It, yeah, it, it always falls on Michaela because I have no idea. Because you don't know about, anything about mine. I have no idea. Yeah, you there don't you know. Go. I'm, I'm glad we're back. Um, <laughs> we're glad you're back, Holly. Thanks. Oh, that's right. You were on assignment. Back from so assignment. Yeah. yeah. How was your assignment? <laughs> was it good? Was it educational? Very <laughs> <laughs> good. All right. Well, about this film that we watched, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Tim Edler writes, and he says, "I love that movie. Good pick." When's the last time I watched it? Wow. Well, Joe Myers says the, uh, I love the similarities between Super Mario Brothers and Land of the Dead, where John Leguizamo is the second fiddle hero and Dennis Hopper, Dennis Hopper. is the charismatic <laughs> ruler yeah. of that's, a wasteland. That's true. I fucking forgot about that's that crazy. movie. Holy shit. Um, that's a good observation. Yeah. Huh. Nick Bravo. Hammond writes in. Nick says, my only comment is, why did it take so long for this trash to make it on the freak show? I'm That's surprised, a, I'm surprised because, too. It's well, been on the list. Because you guys keep threatening it, and I keep saying, I won't be here if you guys put <laughs> it. I said, I will be sick. <laughs> That's right. true. Yeah, it was on my so list. So then we sprang it So it's like, yeah, Mario Brothers, the listeners 13 got me. Ghosts. Uh, what else is oh, on your God. list of 13, things you won't ghosts. show up for? 13 Ghosts is way higher up that list than Super <laughs> Mario Brothers. <laughs> like it should sure. be. Um, Novato Judoko. Judoka says, Western New Jersey. Yeah. He says, I feel like these last two picks have been payback for Shocking Dark and Catwoman. <laughs> it's not my fault. I mean, it is your fault. Shocking fault. Dark is your fault. Shocking Dark fault. is your fault. It's not my fault. Shocking. That's, uh... Uh, own up to it, Sean. <laughs> own up to it. It's not my fault. 
Uh, B movie poster vault writes in and says the opening three minutes of this movie put me off watching the rest of the film for three years and counting. Well, how dare you? And you didn't even get into like the weird supernatural no. stuff. You just saw Brooklyn. He's, what, yeah. The <laughs> Italian <laughs> dinosaur narration threw you off in he this just, movie. Apparently he just so. heard the. He just heard the. You know, now it's two dimensions. Deal with it. Yeah. And he was right. done. Like, I'm out. Yeah. I can't hey, buy into you. this. Yeah. <laughs> dinosaurs. I can't blame him. I can't blame deal him. with it. Dinosaurs. This is the uh, this fucking dinosaurs. You know. Well, Jacob <laughs> Cotner, who is uh, the host of this a- five boroughs. No, 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 no. We know, we know. We know, Gotti. We know. Well, Jacob Cotner, who's the host of a Refund Theater podcast, says, What a catastrophe. This movie never clicks with me no matter how many times I watch it. Saying that, I've watched it more times than anyone should. I dig Samantha Mathis and whatever she's in. And I also have a so- soft arrow. spot for yeah. and pump Fuck up the yeah. volume. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I also have a soft spot for Hopper, Hoskins, and like was but the main reason I have love for this film is the soundtrack Divinals for Life. I can't wait to hear the episode. <laughs> Cheers to the Friday, Saturday Night Freak Show crew. We love I mean, everyone in this movie. Not for this movie. Yeah, but yeah, in yeah. This movie. Well, well yeah. he said the movie never clicks with me, no matter how many times I watch it. it but right. I have love for this film all because of the soundtrack. Yeah. He keeps watching it. Like, dude, just get the soundtrack. It's don't done. don't hurt yourself anymore. Yeah. yeah, you've put yourself through a lot. Yeah. Uh, Sean Roger writes in and says, I liked this movie when it came out, but I was nine years old exactly. and had not yet played any Mario Brothers exactly. games. I dare not watch it now. He was the target yeah. audience, nine years old and had never played the games. Wow. <laughs> they, that was like the perfect Venn diagram there. Yeah, they found you. <laughs> That's the question. Would this game, uh, this movie make you want to play the game? No. No, because it's Yeah, it's I don't so think it would. There's no relation. Yeah, I have no desire. I just saw it tonight. I don't know. Okay. No. Uh, Nick Siebel says it's a horrible, horrible movie. Yeah, However, there yeah. are so many inside stories and rumors about the making of the film. I would love to see a documentary about it. Apparently, Tom Hanks was connected to this film at one point. Yeah. Hoskins and Leguizamo were apparently drunk on set during the duration of the shooting. Yeah, yeah sure. Hanks was uh, box office poison at this point, though. So yeah. they were, uh, after Turner and Hooch. He's going to be Luigi. Wow, was 93 was in 93 was that Turner and Philadelphia Hooch. Turner and Hooch and uh, yeah. Joe versus the Volcano Joe, yeah. oh I love they, Joe like, those volcano. those had not done Turner well Turner Hooch is great <laughs> BT dubs but yeah they, he was too much of a risk they yeah. passed on him Tom Hanks was too much of a risk. <laughs> Wasn't there somebody else that they wanted and or Dustin Hoffman Dustin wanted Hoffman. to be in it? Right, yeah. And they said, well, no, we don't because see he's done it before, Rain Man. Right, because of the writer, right. Uh, Amos Martinez writes in and says, as horrible as this movie is, I still love it. It's got enough originality and insanity to keep me entertained. Plus, Dennis Hopper is amazingly bad in this. Uh, Dennis Hopper is amazing. The rest of it is bad. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. Doing some quick I, hopper math here, and like the last two things I've seen him, and I'm like, hey, dude, this and uh, Texas Chainsaw too. Oh God! I think I'm just the like best part of both of those. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Uh, is he the no, best I, part I, of those? I movies? think so. I, yeah. Personally, I th- he I might absolutely be. agree with that. He's the best part of those I, shit shows. I think well, so yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike Camp says, I love bad movies, but damn. Yeah. <laughs> I I saw yeah. that comment earlier, and I was dying because I was like, yeah, that sums up my feelings. <laughs> Uh, Travis Legler writes in and says, I still giggle at watching Bob Hoskins being asked his character's full name, and he has to say, Mario, Mario. Mario. The way he says that line, it feels like he's trying to say, as an actor, yeah, I can't fucking believe I'm doing this movie either. Yeah. Yeah. That was the general attitude on set, I think. Uh Uh-huh. Well, uh, about uh, previous week's movie detention, Brian Putke, who suggested the movie to us, <laughs> writes in and says, I'm happy this oh, got picked shoot. by the Saturday Night Freak Show fans. This movie is an experience and no way to provide a plot summary in under three pages. My third watch of this was the best. <laughs> I can't imagine My watching that movie watch three was times. the best. How did you get to three watches on that movie? Were you drunk on the third one? How the hell? Is that why? I feel like I sir. feel like being under the influence would make that movie worse. Really? I, I mean, I watched yeah, it. I, feel like I watched it. No, I feel like the room would spin. I like, watched mm. it stone cold sober, and it was a terrible experience. Yeah, so I no. can't imagine. Like, I think being I'm the drunk only one and, like, who like I sat there and defended that movie. So maybe hell, you should check it out. You liked it. 
Uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> See, you, <laughs> no, but I mean, it's like a satire of high school. It's life a hard one. In it's, the, you would hate it in 2011. It's it's a hard the one. The Breakfast Club for 2011. No, that is misleading as all fuck. Four Don't points against. But I haven't even. I haven't even seen it. Every movie from the 80s and that's in a blender. Just blasphemy. Okay. It's not uh, about the 80s. It's about the 90s. Remember, it's that whole fucking shtick of that movie. It's the 90s. Oh, Robin <laughs> Linneman Silverberg says Detention is a slasher movie involving a serial killer, UFOs, body swapping, a riff on Better Off Dead, Breakfast Club, Dirty Dancing, Steven Seagal versus Patrick Swayze, callbacks to Mean Girls, Clueless, and Donnie Darko, and a time-traveling alien grizzly bear. What more could you ask when for? When you put it like that, it, it, it sounds be. way better. I was say, be. that sounds it awesome. Be. It's not. It shouldn't be all those things. Yeah. Uh, uh, Adam, it's too many things. Mm-hmm. Adam Kaler says, I just watched Detention and I haven't yelled, what the hell, movie? Or wait, what? At a movie this much since Batman versus Superman. But in this case, for good reasons. I have no idea what I saw, but I'm grateful I saw it. I always suspected there were more to bears than I thought, and now I know the truth. <laughs> Superstars, can you think of any movies that you went in with no prior knowledge that ended up being completely off the wall surprises? I mean, there's been several on uh, the show. N- nothing but trouble. That movie, I had no idea what I was in for when I watched it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, in for like in surprise in a good way or a bad way. Uh, I don't know because, oh, been, I, because I, I would say new. I would say you for you. Sorry to bother you. Sounds like it was that movie for you. Oh, I fucking like, that, hated that movie. You hate right, sorry but to I you? hated sorry you to bother you. I did. I, okay. I hated it. But what it's he's surprising. asking is like, what movie took a crazy left turn that you didn't expect? Sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you takes yeah. a fucking That's crazy what I'm left turn. Sorry to bother you but is batshit crazy. But it's great. Uh, mine's more low key. I saw a movie called Cold in July that I went in with no expectations. And it's like mm-hmm. twisty as all hell. And I was really? like, what? I really, I really like that movie. I really like <laughs> yeah, that it's really movie. That yeah. my cue for, I think You should watch good. it. Was yeah. I, was, I liked I was, it. I liked the movie. Yeah. But it's not like, it wasn't. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't like mind blowing where the twists went. I just had no expect. I think because I was Maybe. like, eh, whatever. And sure. then by the end of it, I was like, oh my god, that was yeah. a good movie, like yeah. a better than average movie. Uh, I, yeah, I, like, um, I solely went to go see that movie because Michael C. Hall was in it. That was the only reason mm-hmm. I went to go see it. So I that I was like had zero expectations the, too. So what's the Ben Kill List? Ben Wheatley? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that was one. Where I'm just like, oh, I, I think I didn't that's see that coming. Yeah, I think but that's it's also his best like movie. it wasn't mind blowing. It's like okay. Mm-hmm. I get that it went there, but there's this microphone. Jesus, uh, I think right, that's so. his best movie, Kill List. Miami Connection. I know that, that yeah. went places I never thought it would. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, so we're gonna go around the table and we're gonna tell you what we thought of Super Mario Brothers, starting with Michaela. Michaela, what did you think of <laughs> Super Mario Brothers? Why are we starting with me? Yeah, why we skip Colin? Yeah, <laughs> Colin, what did you think it's of like Super the Mario Brothers? Thing. He does it every you demanded that week. seat, and you don't even know where the circle starts. Nope. I'm getting. I'm, I'm just tired of You're going to you old. first. I was like, so how long have I'm I been gone? Go I'm <laughs> <laughs> tired of going to Colin. What did you? Think? I know. I was uh, waiting for him to cut me that. off and everything, and it yeah. didn't happen. Yeah. No. Nope. Man, our it's, stick uh, is it's, off. Uh, my bad. It's because we're letting the listeners pick the movie. It is. Yes. Like I have no sense of like who picked. So I like even if I am sitting here, I'm yeah. just like. Ah! I'm like, I didn't pick this movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But what did you think? But it always of starts Super in Mario the same Brothers? spot. Ah, it always still, starts in the same spot. Have you learned nothing that I did that, like, it doesn't <laughs> register with no, me? No, he's doing it. It's the thing at this table. You look at the person across from you. I think that's he's doing his best, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm doing what I can. I didn't hate this movie. Is that a surprise? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's actually really I'm surprising. shocked. I'm I didn't not, hate it, but. I'm not. I thought there would be. You would. Having not seen it, I thought there would be some interest in this. The interest was in the special effects, the practical, yeah. kind of the, the the puppetry. You know, I mean, obviously, I don't know if it holds up today. Some of it was like, meh. Um, it's just, I'm not the audience for this movie. So ultimately, at some points, I was bored by it. It's a kid's movie, you know, and I guess that's the thing. Um, can I grade it as... I'm an adult watching a kid's movie and it's not connecting with me and I'm bored because it's a kid's movie. The plotting, the production, you know, the acting, all that stuff is perfectly acceptable. And I think at the beginning I named several films, which are probably worse than this that came out around that same time period. I mean, to me, uh, you're going to hate me when I say this, but to me, this is like no better, no worse than the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Those at least 
are like their source material. Okay, but I'm. Like, but this I, is the thing. Not, I have I no. Even, I, I, I'm, he's got. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I, can't, I, I feel no offense to that. I, I feel I like those have like, plot, really, a discernible plot. I really <laughs> what? I, I like all the Turtles movies, so I have. He has no basis for any of yeah. that. So I have I feel no offense to him, him saying that. I, do, the see, I don't themselves. like all the Turtles he's, movies. He's There's definitely a hierarchy world. to those movies. Right, but he has nothing. I haven't seen he's got nothing. at least one so of them. I've, oh, I, I did see known. Turtles in Time. Yeah, that was oh, bad. Shut up. Just okay. That's that's a bad one, yeah. yeah. Um but yeah, so it's like if I was nine years old, it's possible that I would really dig this movie because there's all sorts of crazy shit happening all the time. There is some kind of a plot. And it's not offensive, really. I mean, aside from being gross, like Holly said, I think it is kind of gross, um, you know, of that era. It's just what they were doing. But there's no, like, offensive language or situations or anything that I can remember. I mean, it's basically, it is a kid's movie. I suppose, you know, when you look at it, it is made by ultimately Disney is the funding behind this. And they knew that their audience was going to be young. And apparently a uh, five-year-old Sean thought it was the greatest thing since uh, sliced bread. Me personally, now it's like, I have no reason to ever watch this. And that's why I've avoided it until this point in my life. So, I mean, if you have no if you're an adult you can skip this but you might want to show it to your kid there you go that's the review bam it's not a horrible movie is i guess what i'm saying just you know yeah michaela what did you think i this movie's uh, i don't like anything about this movie like i don't enjoy any part of it i don't it bores me to all hell i don't enjoy anything about this movie i i was kind of doing my uh my leg was ammo math before we started tonight where I was trying to figure out because he's been in so many movies. I was trying to go through the things I've seen him in. He's been an executive decision. He's been, but like, I'm trying to figure out how many is he good in, you know, like not, not part is in spawn. Am I right? He does very, but I think he, I he does know. good in Spawn. I mean, like you make, you can make I fun think, of Spawn, but he does good. in Spawn. I think uh, Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet is a really good role for yeah, him. I think he was you know what? really I think, good. At you that. know what? I think John Leguizamo yeah. does good in most of his movie roles. I'm going to say that. I, yeah. I'm going to go to bad for it's John just Leguizamo. If you like him, him, yeah. yeah. You have to have a director that knows what to do with him. I think. Well, he Let, also play like he's him. He's John Leguizamo. Yeah. So last I think thing yeah. I, last thing I liked him in was Chef. Yeah, hey, yeah, that's true. He's, yeah, you know, he's good in most yeah. of what he does. So I don't know because you say that, but like I said, when you look at the am- amount of stuff he has done, and I think if you average out the amount of stuff he's done, and is he good in not is the movie good? Is he good in a movie? Whether the quality it, of the movie is good or bad. Now I think that he's good in more stuff than the movie he's in is good. I don't. I don't. See, you, when uh, was the last think- time you watched The Happening? <laughs> but I like, he has a big role in that movie, and he is bad in that movie. She's pulling out the big. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That movie is something else, and I yeah. don't think that's an. I don't think that's a good uh, control group for John Leguizamo. No, but like, I mean, it's a it's a bad movie full of horribly miscast it's people a, doing a really movie. bad job. It's, it's a lot of bad. Yeah, just, but like, a lot he's. Of bad. A, I don't know something but, about him in that movie is extra bad. But mm. I don't know. It's just the sheer amount of things he's been in, like. I don't know. This one, he's he's so young. It's kind of hard to get a handle on if he's good or bad or not in this movie because he's this so like young. Carlito's way, uh, John mm-hmm. right. Yeah, it had yeah. to be. Yeah, it had to be yeah. right around. It had to be right around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, I just, I mean, I, I, to- I totally understand what you're saying, yeah. and I agree with it. I just look at it and think, I don't know if anyone else could have done anything with this part. I mean, yeah, I think, I think the you least know? that's the least of the problems of this movie, <laughs> right? A, you know, like, a boyish enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. It's, I uh, think he kind of nailed the crap he was given. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that. I don't. <laughs> right. The acting might be the best thing about this movie. You know, across the board. Uh, yeah, I think I, they all did pretty. It's good all pretty with what solid. You know, and at least it, they got you know to get paid to get drunk and dick around in these crazy sets. You know, um, but yeah, just, this movie's just off putting to me. I never saw it as a kid. I don't any nostalgic attachment it's just there's not really a movie here and i think that you know video game adaptations don't usually work and when they do work they're We're nothing at you like alone the- in the dark <laughs> <laughs> but what's interesting is that you can make a video game adaptation that is nothing like the source material but is still a success- successful movie We're and they Eve failed at Eve. both things they failed at making a successful movie and making a faithful adaptation so they failed across the board to me so mm-hmm. when can we get that do not recommend Holly. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, I, I watched this several times as a kid. <laughs> you just said that. Like, <laughs> I watched this. 
I watched it. That was tonight. That was it. I watched it. Um, yeah. Bravo. 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 Good. Thank you. I watched this a lot as a kid, and um, even then, like I think I watched it because like my brother wanted to watch it. But even as a kid, I was like, "This is weird. This is just too weird." And I mean, a lot of that does have to do with the fact that I played the game a lot, and I was like, "This has nothing to do with the game. That's Mm -hmm. bullshit." Um, but yeah, I've I've never liked this movie. I've always thought it was ridiculous. Um. I, I think the practical effects are the most interesting part. I think the actors do a sufficient job with what they're given, but otherwise it's just trash. It's awful. It, it is a kid's movie, but it's not a good kid's movie. And, you know, Colin said earlier, you, know, you can, adults shouldn't watch this, but you should show it to your kids. No, you should do better for your kids. <laughs> yeah. You should do so much better. <laughs> yes. So, no, I, I do not recommend this at all. And thank you, listeners, for choosing this because I was going to, and I'm really glad I'm not responsible. <laughs> Sean? <laughs> Uh, how dare you say you can do better for your kids? Because I'm going to show this to my child. You can have that copy. I'm gonna, oh, can I? Oh, all right, I'll take it. Because I'll, I'll show this to my child. Yes, go for I, it. Yeah, because that's I all think. Yours, I mean, but obviously, that's like that is obviously the audience for this movie. Also, me, uh, <laughs> because I had uh, I had a fun time watching it tonight. No, it's no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a horrible movie. Yes, it's bad from front to back. There's, again, the only, like we said, uh, I agree with everyone's review of this movie. Um, and the only thing that is, uh, gave me any enjoyment tonight was reliving the memories of when I first saw this movie. Because watching it tonight, I could uh, repeat lines of dialogue that I remember from watching it back when I was like, you know, five through 12 years old. Um, and that's the only thing that's uh, uh, good about this movie. Um, it's not a good adaptation of any source material. Um it's uh, I'm the only uh, you know I enjoy the actors in it. Um, it has nothing to do with the video games. I can't say it's a bad movie enough. I can only say that the nostalgia that you know was tripped off from this movie um, entertained me, um, and that's not a good reason to go back and watch a movie at all. For uh, and it's not a good reason to recommend it for anybody. So no, you definitely should not watch this movie. Um, <laughs> n- not at all. No, nobody should watch this movie. Um, I, I, I'm, I, I might again, but it's only probably going to be because I'll probably show this movie to my kid and be like, "You want to see some shit?" Like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the kid's definitely going to watch this movie. Well, it's a good thing she gave you that copy because apparently you can't find this movie anywhere. Apparently yeah. not. I'm going to hold on to it. It's, it's, it's not yeah. yeah. This is a good copy. You're um, welcome. I gave you two movies tonight, what? Sean. Two movies tonight. She did. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. You're welcome. Um, uh, my child, thanks you. Um, it's it's really not a good movie. Um, I don't I don't think anyone in their right mind could recommend this. Um, it's 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 something else. Um. But, uh, I mean, I enjoyed watching it tonight, but that's just because somebody said, hey, you have to watch this tonight. Yeah. Uh, and so you're going to, you know, you're going to sit down and watch it. But so, see, this, uh, is a, this is another classic, like, I had fun hating this movie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't hate this movie. And I, I didn't find it boring or anything like that. Because, uh, again, to me, the biggest sin of any movie is just, like, is to be boring. And, and uh, I didn't find that with this movie, um, again. But it's all nostalgia. So I'm not going to recommend it to anybody, um, you know, as as much as I may show it to my kid. But, yeah, don't don't watch this movie. There's nothing, there's nothing in it for you. Like, <sighs> yeah. All right. They, they, there we go. They do That's basically yeah, four just, passes. Yeah, it's a yeah. Pass. Like, no, yeah, you shouldn't watch. Four knows. Wow. It's not. It's not for you. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, you. Thank you, listeners, for voting and making. Uh, I blame Super this Mario on the Brailers. To take. Yes. <laughs> I think it's all their fault. Yes, it's the Brailers. Uh, so next week we're gonna <laughs> watch another movie that's chosen by oh boy. you. Uh, you voted it, what so we're gonna watch. On? I forgot. Wait, we mean? Did we tell you? No, no I, don't I, don't I, don't I don't know what remember. it is. I don't know what it is. We're watching a movie called Magic, starring <gasps> Anthony Hopkins from 1970. What? This was on my list. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. We're I don't know this it's movie. Prime. It's Prime. It's Prime. Listeners are like checking off all my picks, man. Uh, I don't know this movie. <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. Magic. Go look it up. Uh, watch it and join us next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Can't be and worse. Until then, <laughs> uh, the basement is going dark.